What is this? <laughs> go for one go. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Very tasty. Soy sauce with sake, quail egg. That is delicious, actually. Thank you. I love it. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here in cold Kyoto, Japan. Today I'm here with my friend Kosuke and we're gonna go to the market. This is like a traditional fish market. What's the name of it? Uh, Nishiki Market. Nishiki Market. Nishiki Market. Yes. And where is it in the city? Uh, we are in the downtown area in Kyoto and this is the market, most popular one. And people call this market Kitchen of Kyoto since we have many traditional food. Traditional food. Traditional food? So yes. what, what are some things that we're gonna see here? Seafood and dry food, many uh, crazy small octopus uh, you can see. Okay, yeah. some more octopus. They love octopus here in Kyoto. Yeah, you guys love, love it. We love, I can eat every day. Every day? Yes. Awesome, me too. <laughs> Let's go inside the market. Dry seaweed. Dry seaweed. Dry seaweed. It's really good for your calcium, right? No. Dried seaweed. Mmm. Nice. With sesame seeds? Can I have some more? <laughs> it's so good. Arigato. Small crabs. Yeah. That's amazing. Favorite. Like tiny crabs. Yeah. Are they crunchy? Sure. Ah, really crunchy. And then this is the seaweed. Yeah, seaweed. 1,100 for a bag like yeah. this? That's amazing. That's a deal. Yeah, good deal. Thank you, my friend. Here, I'm going to try a very small crab. He gave me like half the crab, though. That's a little crunchy. Has this like orange tint to it. Like almost like little seeds. Oh my god. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Yeah, good challenger. Mmm. It's a nice, like, sweet taste to it. Almost like a honey with seeds, but the crunch is outstanding. And these are raw eggs? Oh, it's raw. It's not seeds, it's raw. Yeah. But it has, like, some delicious sweetness to it. Yeah, the taste is like... Uh, scallop. Scallop. Dry scallop. Mmm. As I said, we have many dry food in Kyoto. Mmm. Chewy. Very chewy. Very chewy. Very dense. Mm. Dense. A little hard to get down, but it's good. I like it. Man, I can eat everything here. <laughs> Everything's so good. Zemboshi. Arigato, arigato. The bamboo shed. Bamboo shed. Bamboo shoot. Yeah, pickled bamboo shed. We uh, love to have a bamboo shed, actually. And as you uh, order ramen, you always find bamboo shed on the ramen. Bamboo shoot. Mmm. Nice, like moist crunch. Moist crunch, yeah. Moist, because it's a little wet. Mmm. Delicious. Yum. <laughs> and I love it that every time you eat ramen, they give you a bamboo shoot. Mmm. So fresh. It's like very earthy. Dude, I'm gonna buy one. No, I'm gonna steal it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but how long is it? Uh, 1,200 feet. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Wow. You even can see the end. You can, yeah, you can definitely see the end. But there's so many shops. I mean, it never ends. Right here, we got some souvenir shops. More souvenir shops. So we just passed that little area. And that was like seafood, but dry seafood. So here we have a very tough section. There's even carp. Do you know koi fish? They're selling the uh, carp here. And the eel, and not only eel, but also intestine. Also bone of the eel, you can have it for your calcium. Here, there's, there's live animals. Um, and they're also cooking animals, but there's also live animals on the bottom, like in tanks. And we have a lot of things on skewers. Sparrows. Sparrow, yeah. wow. A little bird on a stick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I try that? Mm, no, no, I've never tried. <laughs> All right, I won't try that. Yeah, <laughs> too hard. I mean, I want to try something though. Eel inside. Eel inside. Well, what's that? A bone. Bone of the eel. Bone of the eel. <laughs> Whoa. It's a crunchy, right? It's like a cracker. <laughs> I mean, it, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a worm. Like a freaking worm. Awesome. I think I'm going to try one of these. Yeah, sure. Um, we have different sizes. If you, if you want to go for a small one, you can just go for a small one. I'll probably go for a small one, yeah. Small one. So it's just a... Uh, That'll be... The smallest we have is 250. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I need to eat a big one. Alright guys, so I'm going to try an octopus with a quail egg inside. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> go for one go. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Very tasty. Soy sauce with sake. Quail egg. That is delicious, actually. Thank you. I love it. Mmm. I've never had this before. Yeah, it looks course. very exotic, but it's like standard here. People love octopus here. And this one was small. So this one was 250. You can actually go for the bigger one. 500 for that. Look at that. It's just a monster. This that that was so good. Is it good? Yeah. Th that was like so so good. <laughs> yeah. I was, it looks a little crazy. Yeah, this yeah. little like 
Like, you never really see an, an octopus on a stick. That's scallops? <gasps> no way, that is giant. Here we have rice cake with sweet soy sauce. Oh my God. Mmm. <laughs> it's almost like a mochi. It's a little gooier. Doesn't have the same taste as a mochi though. Just the consistency is similar to a mochi. Mmm, the sweet soy sauce is so delicious. Mmm, like this is so freaking good. It's almost slimy. Like, it's, it's gooey, but it's almost slimy. Mmm. Wow, that is filling though. It is like, it's it's not too sweet. But at the same time, like, the sauce is sweet. So is sweet the yeah. sauce is sweet. Yeah. The inside is not so sweet. <laughs> it's, it's almost like a, a gooey mochi. Gooey mochi. More than mochi. Gooier. This is, this is a baby sardine, mini flavor with the baby sardines here. Okay. We love to put on the rice. So many people have the baby sardine at the fridge at their house. All right, so basically this is like a sampler of sardines and kelp. I'm gonna try a little bit right here. So put on my hands, right? Yeah. Little sardines, little red. Oh, they look nice. Mmm, very nice. Salty, dry. Got a nice piece of kelp. It's a little too sticky. Mmm, super sticky kelp. Oh, I see how that can go really good with rice. Mm. Right, right. Or like wrap around it. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Here you see fish here. It's a carp, koi fish. And the other fish you see here is a herring, herring fish. It's a herring fish wrapped with kelp. Okay, so this entire shop is dedicated to bonito skin. So many variations, as you can see right here. This one looks like, uh, like a little lighter. That one's darker. Those are completely dark, like super dark. I don't know what they're doing with them, but I'm sure they're mixing with something to make it darker, right? Wow, so you just get a bag here like popcorn, and then you just eat bonito skin. <laughs> Do we buy a bag? No, I'm good, I'm good. This is your shop, you like uh, sake a lot, so you can try sake here. So th yeah. this is a sake shop? Yeah, this is a very traditional local sake shop. Whoa, so many sakes, like how many sakes are there here? Oh, over 100. Over 100 different yeah. varieties? So you can try here, they allow you to try? Okay, let's try some sake. Okay, so we're about to try some sake. Mmm, that's really good. A little strong. Yeah, it is. A little strong. Wow. This is sake from Kyoto in the south area, called the Joyo area. She let us have a sample before. This time we got a beer cup, but we paid for it. We paid 400, which is basically $4. Oh, oh, thank you, my friend. Arigato, arigato. Wow, this is delicious. It's like, it's dry, but it's also a little fruity. Very cold. I love cold sake. Even in this freezing weather, I love cold sake. And yeah, guys, you have to try this when you come here. I mean, trying sake in Kyoto. Kyoto is one of the most famous places in the entire world for sake. <laughs> Please look at the white strawberry here. I'm sure you've never seen white strawberry in, the, in your country, but here in Japan, it's pretty popular. Yeah. But a little bit pricey though. White strawberries? I've never seen this. That's crazy. It's called Nara Strawberry Lab. Yeah. And it's popular here. Yeah. People it's like popular. this. Yeah, people love to have it. I gotta say, it's a very interesting market between, you know, souvenir shops. We got, whoa, chopstick shop. We got a shoe shop. Right here, we have literally a fish market where there's actual fish and they're cutting them up right there. And then right here, we have an egg shop. I mean, it just doesn't end the amount of things that there are here. So many different shops, so many things to eat. I mean, I would try way more things, but I'm already getting really full. I've been eating back to back to back to back. And uh, yeah, man, I'm like looking, what else? Oh, more sake. I don't know if I haven't told you guys, but I love mochis. I'm gonna try this mochi. It's called Sakura Mochi. Pink mochi wrapped in a salted cherry leaf. Wow, 180 yen? Okay, let's try it. So this shop is like, all they do is mochis, right? And they also do like a grilled mochi right here on the grill. It's like a little barbecue mochi. It's a green tea mochi. She's just cooking it. Oh my God, I'm trying two mochis back to back. I can't wait. That looks delicious. Pink mochi wrapped in a salted cherry leaf. Mm -hmm. Really salty. In the middle, we have a little bit of red beans. Always red beans in mochis. Mm. This one's actually a little more grainy. It's like a super sticky polenta in a way. Oh yeah, super yummy. Mm. All right guys, let's try this thing. Whoa, 
I never had grilled mochi. Oh my god, I love it. It has this little like smoky taste to it. Mmm, really slimy. That's what I love about Asia. So many like slimy, gooey desserts. Oh, mochis are good. They're really filling. Oh, and it costs 170 for each. So talking about $1. seventy each. Here we have another fish market, but this one's awesome because it has sea urchins, huge oysters. Look at these oysters, they're just giant. Wow, we got some ginormous snails right here. Got some roe. Oh, so good. Everything looks so good here. Even some like seafood brain. The crazy thing about this market is that like, I literally got full within the first 10 minutes. Everything else is just like too much, but it just doesn't stop. Like, and there's so many unique things here. This market's actually very short in terms of markets in Japan, but it's really big because the shops are just like 10 feet wide. So you easily have like 1,200 shops here. I don't know if that's the exact number, but it looks like there's a lot of shops because I mean, I just passed so many places. Everything is so delicious. So if you're looking for seafood, definitely visit this market. All right, I think I ate too much, but luckily I've been walking it off. Like we went through the whole entire market, as you can see, that is the exit of the market. And we're gonna go now to the Bamboo Forest, one of the most visited attractions here and one of the most stunning places to visit in Kyoto. Hey man, you ready? Yeah, of course I'm ready. And I can take it to anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> already in our Asian area uh, known for bamboo forest and monkey park and a couple of temples I know not many tourists at the local sites let me show you so maybe we should visit the temple first is that okay with you yeah yeah it's only 10 minutes away from here and on the way we go uh, you can see the many souvenir shop we call Otagi Nembutsuji temple Otagi Nembutsuji Otagi is the name of this mountain and Nembutsu means a reading Buddhism Bible because the founder of this temple was reading Buddhism Bible all day. So people named this temple Otagi Name Buddhist Temple. So it costs 300 yen to enter the temple. And we have to w go all the way up. Oh wow, look at this. It's incredible, what is this? Uh, we call it, this is a Rakan deity. Their name is a Rakan, it's a student of Buddha. But for this temple, they made up uh, this statue with very unique style. So you see the many statue with a different pattern and different looking. And here's over 1,000 statues you can see. Let me show you my favorite Buddhas here. He's got surfing board. Surfing. Surfboard? Yes, I think the guy made up this uh, statue, loved to do surfing, so he made up the surfing Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. So many, look, I mean, you have a huge row right here. Down there, you have infinite amount of statues. You said 1,000, right? 1,000? Over 1,000. Wow. I mean, this place is amazing. I've never seen so many Buddha statues in my life. Wow, over a thousand. Look, they're just so beautiful. Some have surfboards, one, one guy has a baseball bat. Some are super fast, some are thin. Some are like, this one's like a twin. Uh, this one's face is hilarious. God, this is awesome, man. Wow, and it's a lot colder up here. Yeah, we are on the top of the mountain now, so. Ooh, it's chilly, it's, it's chilly. That one's awesome. Yeah. That is so awesome. Hey, yes. thank you. My and, pleasure. And guys, there's no train up here, so you have to drive up here. Just contact him. <laughs> uh, this, uh, it took about 10 years to complete all the stitches you see here. And there was only 40 years ago. There was only 40 years ago. So you see pretty new stitches here with modern, unique style. And you said it's always like this, always empty. Uh, all, always like this. But except except uh, maple tree season, there's many many uh, trees you see here are uh, maple tree uh, bloom in uh, November. So what an amazing temple! Oh, you're gonna ring the bell. Oh. Woo. Okay, let's go to the bamboo forest. Welcome to the bamboo forest. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. This is crazy. This is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So this bamboo called matake bamboo is known for very fast growing. Growing very, very fast. They grow about like 60 feet in one month. 
In one month? Yeah, 60 feet in one month. <laughs> what? So basically, do they get cut down? Or yes. do you guys come down to eat, right? Yes, we have a bamboo shoot as Bamboo well. shoot, okay, yes. exactly. Wow, dude, this is incredible. After they reach enough, they stop growing. Yes, they don't grow anymore, and they live only five years. Only five years. And as they get old, their color will be more brown. So you see many green bamboos and brown bamboos here. So all the bamboos you see here are family, because they all connected with the only one bamboo root. Bamboo Root underground, so they all family. This is only one organism. One organism. That's incredible. I had no idea. I didn't even know this place existed. I didn't know about this. This is awesome. Oh my god, it's so good. The air here is just like pure, you know. Yeah, yes. And it's it's getting colder though. Every second we're out here gets colder. <laughs> I think the sun's going down, so it's getting really chilly. And uh, good luck trying to get a good Instagram photo. There's too many people here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they grow very aggressively. Right there? Yes, but we are very glad to have a, this wet sand, uh, I mean soil, which, which, which will be the very important to grow uh, good bamboo. So today we visited one of the most delicious seafood markets in the world, the Nishka Market? Nishki Market. Nishki Market. Good pronounce. Yeah. yeah, I mean it was so good. So many diverse things, very unique to Japan. I mean if you're really interested in trying all these unique seafood dishes, you know, things on skewers, um, some things that are very like dry, yeah. some salty stuff. Rice cake. Rice cake. I like the mochis though. My, mochi. yeah. The mochis are my favorite. Maybe, maybe maybe the octopus with the with the quail egg. Good choice. That was so wild. <laughs> and then we visited the temple and we saw those amazing Buddha sculptures. Over a thousand there, and that's one of the least visited attractions here because it's so far and it's hard to get to. Yeah, it's hard to it's get really there by yourself. Yeah, because no train. No train. No train. No train. Yeah, but definitely a must visit. And then yeah, come to this bamboo forest. It really just takes like 20 minutes to see it. You just walk through here, and it takes like. Literally in 20 minutes you're done, right? You yeah. go forward and backwards. Yes. Well guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. Yeah. And definitely look them up when you're coming to Kyoto. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Japan.